Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, join my YouTube family, and also go check out my Instagram. Okay, so today is another part of my Disney series. I'm going to be jumping into Cinderella and Anastasia slash Drizella. I will get to that. You guys know how it is towards the end of this video. So first we're going to be jumping in to Cinderella and I am pretty excited to do Cinderella. Like back in the day, Cinderella kind of stole the show when it came to Disney princesses, but nowadays I feel like not so much. Again, if you are new to this series, I just want to throw out the disclaimer that I'm not transforming into Cinderella or Anastasia and Drizella. I am just doing inspo looks from those characters while using the Disney ColourPop collections. I have the designer collection and the villains collection, so I'm using products from both, and I'm doing every single character, the six princesses that are shown on this palette, and then the six villains they came out with, but I'm turning it into a two-part video with each one every Monday so I can do the good guy, princess, or whatever it may be. I did a Dalmatian with Corella, and then the villain. So yeah, I thought I would do a fun twist on Anastasia and Drizella and kind of do like a mix of both of them. So stay tuned to that part towards the end of this video. But first, let's go ahead and dive into Cinderella. Okay, so I have Gimme Brow from Benefit Cosmetics in the shade 1 on my brows, and then I prime my face with my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer today. So we're going to jump into the palette. I also have MAC Painterly Paint Pot on my lids as well, so we are good to go. We are going to be diving into the Designer Collection. It, it's a Princess Thing palette, so I will be linking the first impressions of that up above. Since I'm doing Cinderella, I decided to keep my hair up for this in a bun and rock a bun tonight. But as you guys know, my hair has been very short. It's not like how it used to be where I used to just be able to effortlessly throw it into a bun. So I apologize if you see any hair sticking out. I have it like bobby pinned, but it's crazy. Okay, so in this palette here, we have three shades that have names that could go towards Cinderella. We have Prince Charming, which is a metallic white shade over here. We have Fairy Godmother, which is kind of like a pink shade. And then Midnight Curfew, which is like a black shade that has some specks through it. So kind of array of colors there. I wasn't really wanting to get into a black shade with this look. I wanted to keep it pretty light for Cinderella. Even maybe a little blue because I kind of feel like blue goes better with Cinderella. But we also have the Super Shock Shadow which is called So This Is Love and this is what it looks like. So this will be our star of the show. I don't really have a transition from this so I'm actually just going to jump up here to this first row and take this shade right here called Chip and run that along my crease just so I have some kind of transition for this look. If you were curious, I'm using my blending brush from Elizabeth Mott. Now I'm going to go straight into So This Is Love with my finger. I'm going to take this shade all over my lid. It is kind of like a light metallic pink or off-white shade. And now I'm gonna go into Fairy Godmother, which is that metallic pink in the palette right there. And I'm gonna use the blender brush with this shade and try to work the shade on the outer portion of my eye. Just kind of doing pressing motions at first, just because we kind of have that tackiness from the Super Shock Shadow. It's very simple and not much is going on there, but at the same time, I love this type of look, especially for a inspo look from a character like this. Now I'm going to take 
a smaller brush and I'm going to go into Prince Charming, which is that metallic white shade. I'm going to run this in my very inner corner and my brow bone. That shade is gorgeous. I feel like it should have been called Glass Slipper because it just it would be perfect for that. And now I'm going to wait on Midnight Curfew. I might come back to that and do a very light handed lower lash line with it. We will see. You guys know the drill. I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera and do my face makeup and then I will be back to finish up the eyes and work with the other ColourPop products from this collection. Um, like always, makeup is down below in the description box if you want to go check it out there. And I am back again. All of the products that I used will be down below in the description box. But I did want to mention the blush because if you guys did not see Friday's video, jump on over and watch it. I will link it up above. But I did a whole video on Zoella X Color Pop and I used her blush. This is Soulmate Press Powder from Color Pop. And it is so good. I mean, it's just so pretty. I feel like I need even a little bit more. Can you just see how beautiful? I feel like Cinderella would have like very rosy pink cheeks. And we're gonna stick with that pink theme and go into Part of Your World highlighter from this Disney collection. It is the more of a pink tint. I'm gonna jump back into the palette and I'm gonna smudge that Midnight Curfew along my lower lash line just to be able to add it into the look. And I'm also gonna take the white metallic Prince Charming shade back in my very inner corner. So I put that on very lightly. And I am going to set my face in just a minute, but I wanted to show you guys for mascara, I'm gonna be going into my BFF Volumizing Mascara from ColourPop, but for the top lashes, I'm gonna go black on black, and then for the bottom lashes, I'm gonna do Kiss and Teal, so that we have a little bit more of that blue throw. So I was debating on throwing a blue eyeliner on my waterline as well, but I think I'm gonna go more teal so that it matches with the mascara. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Zulu. So I'm going to throw this in my waterline real quick. It's so bright and so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I want it to stay a little dewy, so I'm using the Dewy Set from ABH. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into those mascaras. That is so vibrant, but so fun. I love it. Okay, now last step is going to be my Cinderella lipstick, and this is one of their Lux Cream formulas. So you may be thinking what I'm thinking, and when I first seen the shade, I was like, I mean, it kind of screams Cinderella, but maybe if it was like lighter or a little bit more nude, a very light pinky nude, I feel like would have been like right up Cinderella's alley. Um, but I, that's kind of what Ariel's color was. So maybe that's why they wanted to go a little bit more vibrant. But this lip with my lower lash line is pretty vibrant. I overall really, really like this look though and how it turned out. I love the teal with this. I think that is just so cool. And I feel like maybe not so much Cinderella from the cartoon, more so maybe a modern day Cinderella. I feel like could rock a look like this, but I am 
getting vibes from her dress in the movie. And I'm not talking about her ball gown dress. I'm talking about the dress that she makes that's pink. And I believe it has like the, the blue bows on it that she starts to make and then the mice finish. I'm getting vibes from that with this shade of lip and then the teal. But yeah, this is my Cinderella look. If you want to see my Anastasia x Drizella look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so now we're going to jump into Anastasia slash Drizella. And, you know, I thought about doing the evil stepmom, but I felt like it would probably be a lot like doing the evil queen. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted to have fun with this one. So I decided to do half Anastasia, half Drizella. So you guys might not be able to see it very well with this darker backdrop, but I went ahead, I believe, yeah, this is my purple side. So this is my Anastasia side and then my Drizella side. And I'm gonna plan that around my face as well. For the most part, I'm gonna use the same face products overall, but my eye looks are going to be different for them. And the amazing thing about the Misunderstood palette, which I will link the first impressions above for you guys, is the fact that there is beautiful greens and purples in this, so this will work perfectly for this eye look. I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple, but still pretty blown out of purple and green. Like always, my makeup for Cinderella and for this look will be down below in the description box. Both of the makeup looks will be there, so just keep scrolling. I do have my brows, my primer, and also I have the soft ochre paint pot on my lids from MAC. That's why they have a little bit of a yellow tint going on right now. Okay, so first I am going to jump back into the same blender brush that I used for Cinderella. And I just knocked off any excess product and I'm gonna go straight into Tragic and do a transition on both sides. I am also going to take Mongrels, which is kind of like a champagne color. Let's see if I can show you right there. This is going to be my very inner corner and brow bone highlight for this look. Now with my finger, I'm going to take Facil on Drizilla's side and Forest of Thorns on Anastasia's side completely over my lid and I'm not going to be like precise with this because I really want it to be blown out. I'm going to take some brushes to kind of blend this up more to blow it out. So I'm going to start with that Forest of Thorns. And then into Facil. I think that is really cool. I'm going to add a little bit more of mongrels to that very inner corner. And then with my finger, I'm going to take Flotsam, which is kind of like a light pink pale, and just very lightly tap it in the center of Anastasia's side, just to add a little bit more shimmer there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Diablo, which is kind of like a yellow green color. Tapping that right in the center on Drizella's side. I tried to go about the same shape with the eyes because they are twins, so a lot of their stuff is going to be a lot alike. They act a lot alike, they dress a lot alike stuff, but they just have kind of like their own color. So I am going to go ahead and clean up any fallout and then do the rest of my face makeup because since this is technically like three looks in this video, I wanted to go as fast as I could so that this video isn't too much longer than the other parts because I did spend some time with the Cinderella look. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I'll be back. 
So for foundation, I use my ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I'm in the shade Fair 05 Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in the shade Fair. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. All of this information will be down below in the description box. But I did use Gold Rush Benefit Blush and the Too Faced Pineapple Paradise for bronzing and highlighting. I am going to jump back into the Villains palette, the Facile green shade, and run that along the lower lash line. Try to do padding motions because this one will leave fall out like I just got. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Forest of Thorns on this side. Dust away any fallout. And I'm going to be adding those colors on my waterline as well. So this one is the purple. These are both cream gel liners from ColourPop. This one is Piggy Bank. And then the green one is Teaspoon. I have been obsessed with these cream gel liners lately. The color ones are so good. I mean, the, the regular ones were good too, but I'm obsessed with all the bright colors. For setting spray, I'm gonna go into my ColourPop All-Star setting spray as well, and then some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Now I'm going to line my lips with this little mini Sephora um, lip liner in the shade 02 Nothing But Nude. And then I'm going to be trying out a new product from ColourPop to me. This is Luxe Lipstick, but this is one of their Blur Luxe Lipsticks. I did get the shade Hey Mr. DJ. It's actually called Velvet Blur. But I'm going to try it out because I've had it for a little while. I bought it with an order just to try out this formula because it looks so interesting. And I've only swatched it. So I was really wanting to see how it looked on the lips. And what better time because I don't have a lipstick for Anastasia or Drizilla. It feels a lot like their regular lipsticks, but yeah, you definitely see the difference in the finish. It's definitely not matte, but it's not like the cream finish either. It's really nice and feels really comfortable on the lips. But this is my completed look for my inspo for Anastasia and Drizella. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me some thumbs up if you did and tell me which look was your favorite. I had a lot of fun creating this one because I got to be more different than what I have with the series with doing two different, complete different eyes. So that was fun, but I'm still really liking Cinderella's look. Sorry if this video was longer because of having to do two different eyes, but yeah, I still hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.